Let's start with Eric name. Hey, bud. Um, I'm curious for you guys just going down the stretch there. Uh, you know, you open the fourth quarter and I think you mess up a couple switches defensively. And then by the end of it, the final four minutes, you're switching everything, really executing. Just what do you see from you guys defensively to close out that game? Yeah, a lot of great stops. Um, you know, just getting a little bit better uh, with a lot of different things. And then, you know, I think the activity at the rim, um, Giannis going vertical and getting a couple block shots. Drew really late with a great verticality at the rim. And, uh, you know, when we're smaller, those guys got to get in and kind of pull out some rebounds. And the last three or four minutes, we were get, you know, able to get just enough rebounds and enough stops. DJ Augustine with the kind of front and steal on the, on the wing over there was big. So just a lot of good defensive plays, um, not just, you know, whether it be the pick and roll or different things, but then the activity behind it was good. That final bucket Giannis gets, it's its a counter to an action you guys run all the time. Just what did you see on that call and then the play Drew made? Yeah, no, I mean, it was, you know, really good execution, great unselfish by, by Giannis. Um, you know, Drew makes a great cut, you know, makes the right read, makes the right pass, trusts his teammates. And, and then Drew does the same thing. Kat does the same thing. Chris does the same thing. We end up, you know, with a dunk and, um, you know, so it was just great execution, great cut by Drew, and then just the unselfishness all around. Zora Stevenson. Coach, you were talking about like a lot of great stops, and I know I was noticing one of the last plays, uh, Chris Middleton was defending, and Giannis kind of timed it up perfectly. He didn't help too early, didn't help too late. What do you just think of the timing when it comes to the activity and kind of gambling in a smart way? Yeah, I don't love yeah, Probably not the right word there, yeah. but, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but you know, I think, you know, because both, you know, uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, they're, they're great players. So, you know, they'll pass, you know, if, if you come too early, they see it, they read it. Um, you know, Ibaka got a few threes in the second half and Morris got a few threes in the second half. So I just think the timing um, and the understanding and the activity, um, you know, you just got to kind of it's it's a fine line, um, but you know I think uh, you know as the fourth quarter went on, they got better, um, and you know obviously we were able to get enough stops. Steve McGargy. Giannis fourth straight game with at least thirty five points. Obviously, he's been playing at a high level all season. But what you've seen from him specifically in these last few games? Yeah, you know he's just being aggressive. I think he's scoring on a lot of different levels. You know he's getting to the free throw line a lot. Um, you know, and I think he's also, you know, I think playing unselfishly, both, you know, as a passer, as a screener, he's making a lot of good things happen. So, um, you know, it's, it's, he's so good. Um, you just want to continue to appreciate it, but push him to be even better. Eric Woodyard. What's up, coach? How you doing, man? Good. How are you, Eric? For, for you guys, the joy and the passion, it just was on display tonight. You look in these last four to five games, it, it, it seemed like it was a time where you guys never panicked, but the outside, it just seemed like guys were questioning you. But where is that level right now of just the joy and passion with playing ball? Do you see that within this team right now? Yeah, no, I think it's in a good place. Obviously, winning is, you know, something that really helps that. But I think even, even during some of the, you know, the rough patch, uh, I think the togetherness, the communication these guys you know they're they're a great group they got great character um you know and I, I think the joy and the passion you know it, it's uh having drew back having his smile having his laugh you know Giannis plays with a great joy and passion Chris you know Dante DJ playing you know starting and, and helping us all, all just all up and down and Bobby and Brooks so it's just been a great thing you know I do think the joy and the passion is in a good place and you just got to mix it with that competitive fire and uh, good things will happen. Last one to Jim Ozarski. Hey, Mike, uh, I can hear you pretty good this time. Um, what we've been asking about Drew coming back, he, he has 18 minutes, um, obviously, on the court there in the final minutes. What, uh, what did he provide and how did he look to you? I'm guessing you guys were trying to pay attention to what he looked like uh, as he was going through it today. Yeah, you know, I think as expected, you know, I thought, well, I thought he had a couple of great stretches, you know, particularly in the first half. Um, you know, maybe a couple of possessions early that just were a little off. And then he clicked, um, you know, for a while. We went on a good run with him. And um, the second half, you know, I think, uh, you know, he was finding his rhythm and wasn't quite as good as, as that stretch in the first half. But, you know, went to him late, 
Um, and I thought he really helped us, you know, defensively he helps us, just gives us another individual defender, um, you know, the cut, the pass, um, you know, so I think a good mix of, you know, some good play and then some, a guy that's, you know, coming off of not having played for, you know, whatever it's been, probably close to 20, 22 days, something like that. All right, thanks, bud. All right, thank you guys.